This is the Raycon 10 inch bandsaw, model 10305. This is a great bandsaw to have in the shop for a variety of tasks. It's a benchtop model sitting on your bench. It has a one-third horsepower motor and a 10-inch throat clearance. Today we're going to go over the unboxing of this product and the assembly of the parts and then we'll go through the initial setup steps covered here in the manual. So let's go ahead and get started. The bandsaw comes in this box which is about three feet, a foot and a half by a foot it weighs about 60 or 70 pounds. It's all shipped in a single box, the bandsaw itself and all the accessories. In the box is the bandsaw itself, a fence, fence guide rail, the lower trunnion, the table which is packed in plastic with uh, grease so to protect it from rusting, and a bag of loose parts and the manual of course. The first step after unboxing is to remove the plastic coating and the protective grease from the tabletop. You can use any kind of household spot and grease remover to do that. It's then a good idea to put on some protective coating so that the cast iron doesn't rust. A coat of paste wax is a good idea. The saw does come partly assembled but there are a few more parts to put on. The manual clearly walks you through this process. First we attach the upper table trunnion to the lower table trunnion using this thumb screw. Next we attach the table to the upper trunnion using four bolts. The underside of the table has place for the four bolts and they simply slide through the upper trunnion and into the tabletop. Take care to, when you're putting the table on, to make sure the blade slides nicely through the slot, align the holes, and put on the bolts. Go ahead and take the four bolts through the four lock washers, through the trunnion, and into the tabletop, and then tighten them down with a wrench or an adjustable wrench. The first step to install the guide rail is to put these star knobs on the underside of the table. Put a washer onto the knob and then thread it onto the table. Next, simply slide the guide rail on and finish locking down the knobs. There's a slot in the front of the table for allowing uh, for easy blade changes, but in order to keep the two halves of the table flat, there is a bolt and a wing nut here that slides through the front and simply cinches down to keep it level across that opening. The fence simply slides on from the side onto the front guide rail and the back of the table. Cinches down with this locking lever in the front. The blade tensioning knob simply slips into the top. Finally, it's recommended that this tabletop bandsaw be bolted to the table. There are four holes in the base uh, at the four corners to accomplish that. And of course, there's a dust collection port here at the back, two and a half inch port uh, to connect to your dust collector, which is a great idea to do when the saw is running. After assembly, it's time to do some initial setup. Again, the manual clearly walks you through how to do these steps. If the blade is not tracking in the center of the insert, there are two adjustments you can make. The first is to loosen the tabletop using those four hex bolts, two here and two along the back. And you can shift the table slightly after loosening those hex bolts and tighten them back up again. If you need further adjustment, you can even loosen the trunnion assembly using these bolts here. Loosen the whole trun lower trunnion assembly you can shift that a little bit, retighten it, and make sure that your blade is centered in that table insert. You want to make sure that your table is nice and square to that blade. So grab your square and check it out. If it's not square, it's an easy adjustment to make. First, you want to unlock the trunnions so that you can rotate your table a little bit left and right. Then right under here is a nut and a bolt. Loosen the nut and you can adjust, raise and lower that bolt height. And the table sits right on that bolt. 
So by raising and lowering that, you will be tilting the, the table just a little bit left and right. Lock everything back down and check again with your square. Make those tiny adjustments, unlocking and locking until it is nice and square to the blade. It's really easy to get angled cuts with this bandsaw. Simply unlock the trunnions here, tilt the tabletop, and lock it back up. Make sure you've got the right angle and go ahead and make your cut. The fence tension can be adjusted using the front locking lever. You can turn it clockwise to get it to be tighter or counterclockwise uh, is looser. Be careful not to pull the back out of adjustment by making it too tight. Uh, you can pull this back mechanism out of adjustment, so just be careful of that. The blade needs to track in the center of the upper wheel. In order to set that, slowly spin the wheel. And as you do that, on the back, there's a mechanism here, this knob, that will tilt the upper wheel slightly forward and back in order to get that blade to track in the center. Loosen this locking knob, and as you spin the wheel, turn this left or right in order to move that blade forward and backward on this upper wheel. Keep slowly spinning until you get it right in the center, and then go ahead and lock down that knob. You want the upper guides to be as close to your workpiece as possible to keep the blade tracking correctly. So to do that, uh, raise, and upper, raise and lower these upper guides. Just simply unlock that lever, turn the knob up to raise it up or down, and then go ahead and lock them back down. Adjusting the upper guides is really easy on this bandsaw. The first thing you want to do is get those upper guides to be just behind the gullet of the blade. To do that, there's this locking lever here. Release that and you can move them forward and backwards and then lock them back down. To change the bearings themselves, you just use a supplied Allen wrench. Go in, unlock this bolt. You can move that bearing left and right, get it snugged up close to your blade and lock it back down. And there's a thrust bearing here at the back, uh, which is operating the same way using the same Allen wrench. The lower blade guides are adjusted in the same manner. They're a little tricky to reach, but not too bad. You can move in the whole guide assembly forward and backward by first loosening up that lock nut there in the upper left. And then you can move the whole assembly forward and backwards to set it just behind the gullets of the blade and then go ahead and lock down that nut. Then the roller guides themselves are adjusted the same way as the upper ones. Using the Allen wrench, loosen the nut, adjust the roller bearing guide, and then tighten that nut back down. Now that we've gone through all the assembly and the initial setup, the only thing left to do is to fire it up and check it out. So that is the Rikon 10 inch bandsaw, model 10305. We went through the unboxing, the assembly, and the initial setup procedures. If you have any questions or comments, we would love to hear from you. This is a great little bandsaw that is very versatile in any wood shop.